Responsive web design is an approach to building websites that are optimized for browsers across desktops, tablets, smartphones, and other mobile devices based on a single design. The new responsive web design features in Dreamweaver CC include visual tooling support for Bootstrap and the ability to add Bootstrap components, a draggable scrubber in live view, and visual media query breakpoints. Bootstrap is a popular framework because it provides much of the layout and functionality for a website, allowing you to modify it as needed. I can also use the new features to create a responsive website design from scratch. The new document dialog includes options to start a responsive design based on a new or existing Bootstrap style sheet. In this case, I'll click the Bootstrap tab and select to create a new Bootstrap CSS file. Then I'll select the number of columns and sizes for the three layouts. The default settings will work for what I need, so I'll click Create and save my file. From these settings, Dreamweaver creates the CSS, JavaScript, and fonts and adds the respective Bootstrap files into folders. These files define the grid system that provides the base layout for my site. I'll delete placeholder text and use the scrubber to resize Live View and click to add additional breakpoints to a new CSS file to keep my base bootstrap.css intact. Then I'll double click to expand Live View. Bootstrap components are reusable, styled components such as buttons, responsive images, carousels, nav bars, and other elements to quickly define layout and styling. Here, I'll add the container component to hold most of my page's content. Now my page is almost complete. I just want to add some gallery images. I'll use the DOM panel to quickly navigate to the column in the art section where I want to add a row for these images. I'll use the grid row with column bootstrap component to insert the row with the columns already defined. Three columns should work, so I'll accept the default and click OK. The heads up display in Live View in Dreamweaver shows the class selector automatically applied to the row and column divs from the Bootstrap style sheet. I'll set additional predefined selectors from the Bootstrap style sheet to set each column width so they resize correctly when the content wraps for optimal display on layouts such as tablets and smartphones. Then I'll insert the image and nest it into each column. I have two more images I want to add to this section. Live View makes it easy to add rows and columns to my grid system. I can click this icon on the last div column in the row to add columns for the last two images. Dreamweaver updates the Bootstrap classes in real time so I can immediately see the effects on my design. Finally, I'll click Visual Media Query Breakpoints to visually test the various layouts. Unlike Creative Suite versions, Dreamweaver CC is a complete, all-in-one tool for building modern, responsive websites. Install the latest update to Dreamweaver and check out the new responsive features. This video shows you how CSS Designer works and how easy it is to manage CSS using CSS Designer and Dreamweaver. You'll work with the Cowboy Concept page design to explore the Dreamweaver workspace. The web page design is simple, containing a full screen background image, a header with branding and navigation, and headline and body text. If I change the width of the live view surface, notice that the design adjusts its layout across screen sizes from small to medium to large. You'll explore how to use media queries to create this effect. So let's dive in. Create a new site and point it to the style web page CSS folder. Open the index.html file and explore the code. The file includes the HTML structure for the page, but it doesn't have any CSS applied yet. You'll use CSS Designer to add styles to the page. By default, CSS Designer appears docked in the panels on the right of the workspace. If you need to, you can open it from the window menu or by resetting the workspace in the top right. I'll drag the dock CSS Designer by itself so it's easier to see and collapse the panels on its right. Also notice that you can drag the panel to change the layout so that you have more room while editing properties. Let's attach the supplied CSS file and take a closer look. Click on the plus button on the sources area of CSS Designer. There are three ways that you can add CSS to the page. You can create a new CSS file, attach an existing CSS file, or define styles directly on the page. Choose the Attach option and browse for the main.css file in the CSS folder. Then click OK. 
In Code View, notice that the file is attached to the HTML page in the head tag. In Live View, notice that the page updated with the background image and styled text. Let's explore the CSS that brought the page to life. In CSS Designer, notice that there are two main ways to find and explore code using the All and Current tabs at the top. Select All to show all the styles attached to the HTML page. This provides a great way to get an overview of how the CSS is organized. You can view computed styles by selecting an element and clicking on the Current tab. Computed styles show properties and selectors for the current selection in Dreamweaver, including inherited styles and styles attached directly to the selected element. Switch back to All to show all styles. And notice that the Media section of CSS Designer is used to define media query regions. Media queries enable you to change the design based on certain conditions, such as screen size. You can see here that there are two media queries in the attached CSS. And when you're ready to add styles, that's easy to do. Let's add a class to style the H1 text. Select the H1 tag in Live View, click on the plus button, and add a class named .headline. Press the Enter key, then select the main.css source, and press Enter again to create the class. Right-click on the class in Live View, and choose Go to Code to navigate to the CSS in Code View. And you can see that the class appears at the bottom, so I'll drag the class above the media queries to group it with the default code at the top of the page. Next, add properties to format the element. Select the H1 element in Live View and select the headline class in CSS Designer. You'll find it under Global at the bottom of the selectors list. In the properties area, notice that you can filter properties by category. Click on the text button to filter to text properties. Set the font size to pixels with a value of 64. Set the line height to EM with a value of 0 0.95. Click on the Layout Properties button and add a margin bottom property set to 10 pixels. And then click on the Show Set option to filter the view to only show the properties you just added. Next, update the class across media queries. Right-click on the Headline class and select Duplicate into Media Query. Choose the 768 pixel media query. This step copies the code. Select the 768 pixel media query in the Media area, then select the Headline selector in the Selectors area. And notice that just the set properties have shown because the Show Set option is still selected. Update the font size property to a value of 90. Update the line height property to a value of 0 0.85 and update the margin bottom property to 30 pixels. Repeat the process to update the font size in the 1024 pixel media query. Right click on the headline selector and duplicate it into the 1024 pixel media query. Select the media query in the media area and then select the headline selector. Update the font size to a value of 120 and update the line height to a value of 0 0.9. Update the margin bottom to 20 pixels. In Code View, you can see that you've updated the class to show larger text when viewed on larger screens, and you can see that we've created copies of the headline class in both of the media queries. CSS Designer's integration with the Dreamweaver workspace makes working with CSS layouts a snap. You can easily create selectors by selecting an element in Live View or the DOM panel. For example, let's try to use the DOM panel to generate a new selector for the Paragraph tag. Switch back to Source Code to view the DOM, and then select the Paragraph tag in the DOM panel. Notice that you can browse the entire page's code structure in a very easy way. Collapse the DOM panel and return to CSS Designer. Select main.css and sources, then select global in media, then click on the plus button in selectors. Notice that Dreamweaver generates the selector with two levels of specificity, body and paragraph. At this point, you can use the up and down arrows to change the level of specificity. Rules with more specific selectors have a higher priority in the mix of things. Uncheck show set to show all options available for the new selector. Edit the text properties and set the font size to pixels with a value of 15. 
and set the line height property to EM with a value of 1.75. Duplicate the style into the 768 pixel media query. Select the media query, then select the paragraph selector to view its properties. Update the font size with a value of 18 and update the line height with a value of 1.5. Finish by duplicating the paragraph selector into the 1024 pixel media query. Select the media query and then the selector. Update the font size property to 24 pixels and then click on the trash can icon to delete the line height property. We'll use the same settings as seen in the 768 pixel media query, so there's no need to duplicate the line height property again. And in live view, notice that the text styles adjust across screen sizes as I change the size of the live view surface. You can also use live view to easily navigate to code attached to elements. For example, select the H1 tag again and right click on the headline class. Choose Go to Code and notice that you can navigate to the original headline selector or either variation in the media queries. Choose one of the media queries and notice how Code View and CSS Designer update. You can also use Go to Code by right clicking on the media query in the Visual Media Query bar. For example, right click on the 768 pixel media query and notice that line numbers are shown to make it easier to differentiate the media queries and navigate to your code. You can also find styles attached to elements using Inspect Mode. Click on the Inspect Mode button and move the cursor over elements to highlight them and show their code in CSS Designer. Double click on an element to leave Inspect Mode. So you can see how easy it is to craft your web page design. Navigate your code by viewing all selectors at once or use context sensitive editing to adjust styles attached to selected elements. With CSS Designer, managing your code and understanding how it all fits together is easier than ever, so give it a try.